Fred Van Vliet. Yeah. Yeah. Low key is a yeah. shout. Hey, what about Gary Trent Jr.? Yeah, I was supposed to say him or Fred yeah. Van Vliet. Yeah. But I think Fred Van Vliet's like, if you think about the Raptors defensive identity yeah. and like yeah. someone who's spearheading it, I think he's the one that would have to get in. Because the Raptors have a top 10 defense without a center. And last year, they're like, what? They're like 30th. Mm-hmm. And Fred Van Vliet really turned it up. Like he was guarding point guards, his like command of the ball. Like he was switching, getting everyone uh, oriented, getting everyone in the right spots, calling out plays that are happening on the field. Like, and his good steal rate, his good like one-on-one matching. Him, Gary, OG, like this whole Raptors team deserves credit for how small they were. Uh, like a small as in like they don't have a center yeah. but they had a lot of wing set wing size and wing depth yeah and they played really hard so i think fred van Lee and gary Kent jr should get some votes but i see them both probably missing out to like dejounte murray just because he's like leading the league in steals and like yeah he's yeah. under that greg popovich system and we know like media likes to give popovich a lot of defensive like credit and defensive votes but Fred Van Vliet and Gary Trent Jr. are definitely in consideration for that guard spot. Because even Drew, like, the Raptors have a better, like, team yeah, defense. No, you could put Fred over Drew for sure. Yeah. For sure, yeah. So that's something I would like to see, and that's something I hope happens. But mm-hmm. I don't know if it's going to happen because the media always hates on the Raptors, but I yeah. wish it does happen. Yeah. I mean, yeah, like, the, the case is, like, I, I thought of Fred Van Vliet, then I'm like, that's probably, like, I'm probably biased in saying that. Then I thought about it a little bit more, and it's like, is it really that biased to say that the Raptors? No, it's not. Yeah, without like you said, without a center, one of our top ten defense, and yeah. Fred Van Vliet is like the quarterback of that defense. Yeah, and Gary Trent Jr. would be like, like he's a little more risky, he goes for steals and stuff like that. And Fred is kind of just yeah. like the steady, like he's like the point guard of the defense, really. Yeah. Um, yeah, he totally could, he totally. Yeah, that would be really impressive because he gets an All Star All Defensive Team. Pascal Siakam's going to make an all-NBA third team. Scotty Burns should win rookie of the year. And the Raptors finish as the fifth seed, yeah. all from missing the playoffs last year. Then we get this huge turnaround. And we finally get plays like basketball. Like in Toronto, it's going to be such a great season. And I mm-hmm. think this award shows and like award stuff should really showcase how much the Raptors improved. Yeah. And Scotty Burns should win rookie of the year. We'll do that next week. We'll talk about mm-hmm. that. And we could even win a first round matchup if we get lucky enough and get matched up against the Celtics or someone. Yeah. So a lot to look forward to this Raptors season still. Thanks for watching. Subscribe here so you never miss the best clips from Stretch the Floor. Hit the links in the description below to find us on all podcast platforms and follow us on Instagram.